Welcome back. We're talking tree care and lawn care. Obviously, we head into this fall season with their Est Esther McGinnis. Thanks for being with us again, Esther. So wrapping trees, what should we be doing there as we head into this frost time? There are two kinds of trees that you want to wrap. You want to wrap your fruit trees. So your apples, crab apples, your cherry trees, they're really susceptible to rodent damage in the winter. So we like to wrap uh, the trunks of the trees to protect them from your mice and your voles. Now the second kind of tree that you would wrap would be your really young maple trees. Um, and you see your maple trees have a really smooth bark when they're young. So your maples, your mountain ashes, honey locusts, you want to wrap them for the first, you know, three, four, maybe even five years. And that is because there's this danger of sun scald. So people don't think about how hot the sun can be during the winter months. But you know, it hits that south side of the tree, the trunk heats up, um, and it'll, it'll be way above freezing, and it stimulates that cambium tissue to become active. Then a cloud goes overhead, or else um, the sun goes down, and that temperature drops precipitously. So what'll happen is that tissue will freeze, and it could potentially split. But if you wrap that bark, if you wrap it with, you know, there's like a commercial paper wrap we use, there's also a, a vinyl tree guard that, that works just as well. It protects that bark from that, that freezing and thawing cycle. How about pruning? What should we be doing there? Pruning. The best time to prune is early spring in March, but I certainly understand if you don't want to be wading out into that snow drift <laughs> to prune, there is a second best time, which is late fall. And I have to admit, I, I get a little lazy. I don't want to be pruning in March. Although I tell people it's the best time, you can go out in November or when your tree is dormant and do your pruning at that point in time. It's not as good as spring pruning because the pruned ends can desiccate or dry out over winter, but it's better than not pruning at all. The other thing is don't prune right now. If you prune right now, that's the worst time because it will stimulate that new growth. Ah. How about mm -hmm. for the lawn? I mean, what can you be doing now to protect your lawn as the snow comes? Well, you can consider your mowing height. Now, gradually reduce your mowing height uh, during the course of the fall. And for your final mowing, you want to be at, at about two or two and a half inches. And this will help protect your lawn from vole damage. Because if, if your grass is too high going into winter, it's wonderful habitat for those voles that love to tear up your lawn. Also, if your grass is too high, it can mat down and you're more likely to have a, a disease called snow mold come spring. So gradually reduce those mowing heights as you go into winter. Anything else you want to share with us about lawn care? Well, um, with respect to lawn care, uh, we could certainly, um, we can certainly think about um, uh, weed control for fall. Weed control is definitely a good thing to be doing. Now in September, late September, early October, best time to be applying your lawn herbicide. And that's because your weeds are not actively growing. Instead, they are taking all those nutrients and stored sugars in the leaves and sending them to the roots. So if you hit them with a little bit of lawn herbicide at that point in time, they're gonna take that herbicide down to the roots and you're gonna kill those dandelions. So it's, it's the killing season for weeds. <laughs> <laughs> you do such a great job, Esther. Thank you very much for the insight. We appreciate it. Thank you. Very, very much. Stay with us when we come back. Much more right here on North Dakota Today.